Got some serious trembling going on there. I don't know if my camera's gonna pick that up very well, but that's what I'm talking about. Robertson Family Racing Pigeons, James here. Hope this finds everybody doing well. Um, we've got a lot of cool things we're gonna talk about today. Uh, two big ones are, we're gonna talk about an egg project that I'm doing. And then we are also going to take a look at a new bird. Before we get into that, uh, just wanted to say, I've noticed on my YouTube that some comments are not showing up and if you comment on one of my videos and I do not reply, that means it's not showing up because I reply to every comment. So if you notice that, please go ahead and re-comment because I don't want to miss out and I don't want you guys to miss out either. So if that's happened to you where you've commented and I haven't responded, the only reason is because it somehow is not showing up. All right. Enough of that. Let's see some birds. Oh, they're hungry, even though I've already fed them multiple times. <laughs> All right. James here, Robertson Family Racing Pigeons. Look what I got in the mail today. This is from Feathers Elite in Canada. So this is the hen that we got for Griffin. Oh boy, we're excited about this. So this is interesting, you know, they've shipped it in this little cat carrier. A little bit of corn there. Don't know how many days is in the mail. Oh, just a couple days. The date is two, one, and I received it on the 3rd. So that's pretty quick from Canada. That's awesome. Fantastic. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, we're excited. We are excited. We are excited. This is an Aztec bird. Woohoo! For those of you don't know Ramiro with Aztec Lofts bred the first place Hoosier winner this year and has done extremely well in one loft racing so we're gonna take a close look at this bird but there she is this is how she came That's the pedigree, I assume, the paperwork. We'll take a look at that too. Awesome, and then we'll pull this bird out and probably get her in a new container, new crate for her to be quarantined in. All righty. James here, Robertson Family Racing Pigeons. So, here are two eggs that I removed from the hen immediately after she laid the second egg on January 28th. And I've been keeping them here on my desk. And this is the sixth day that I've had them here. So they haven't been incubated yet. And I've been turning them multiple times a day as I work. Just sit here at my desk and I'll just turn them like that once or twice a day. 
and I'm wanting to test how long pigeon eggs can remain viable between being laid and the start of being incubated. So that's what I'm doing. So six days, I'm gonna go run these out and put them under the original pair that laid them, which are sitting on dummy eggs. And yeah, we'll see if they start to develop. So we keep our house usually around 68 degrees Fahrenheit. This will be interesting. All right, here we go. We've got the eggs right here. See that? That's the original pair, and I'm just gonna see if they'll start to develop. It's been six days. I'm gonna swap for the fake eggs. Get those fake eggs out. Let's put those real eggs in. We'll give them a week, and we will see if they start to develop. Okay, and just to clarify, with this egg project, I just want to see if the eggs will be able to develop after being dormant for a little while after being initially laid. So, we'll keep track of these eggs, take a look at them next week, see if they start to develop. That'll just let me know if there's a little bit of flexibility when moving birds, I'm sorry, when moving eggs to foster pairs, if I can take them and hold them for a day or two so the timing works out. All right, let's take a look at this bird. I've already vaccinated it and for uh, PMV and for salmonella, so I have already gotten a little first handle and I like her. I'll show you. All right, folks, here she is. We are calling her Aztec Turquoise. Look at that bird, holy cow. She's on the larger side, but she is just fantastic. Super strong in the hand. The uh, humerus is short up on top of there. Just, I'm just holding her. I can just feel the trembling. She's just trembling. All right, wing. See that? Yep, there we go. Nice wing there. Just great bird. Good balance. Single pintail. I mean, she is just phenomenal. So this is the hen that we got for Griffin. She is actually bigger than Griffin because Griffin's so small. But I think they will complement each other really well. They're both super strong. Just you fill them and it's just pure muscle. <laughs> you fill them and it's just, you feel like you got this perfect racing machine in your hands. Come on. What a gorgeous bird. Oh my goodness. Really well muscled all the way through here. Just all the way through, really well muscled. Her vents, they are close together for a hen. I mean, she really does handle pretty much 10 out of 10.
Just a fantastic bird. I think I might have a new favorite hen in the loft. Sorry, Athena. <laughs> okay, so we're naming this one Aztec Turquoise. It's bred by Aztec Loft. And she's this beautiful light blue bird and of course the precious stone turquoise is significant in Latin American art. So Aztec turquoise, here she is. This is band number 10853. Beautiful, beautiful bird. She's just trembling in my hand. I mean, look at that. Look at that wink. Got some serious trembling going on there. I don't know if my camera's gonna pick that up very well, but that's what I'm talking about. Okay, Aztec Turquoise, welcome to Robertson Family Racing Pigeons. The birds that uh, she and Griffin breed will be submitted to one loft races by Robertson and Pino Loft. So, keep an eye out on that. Awesome, okay, let's take a look at her pedigree. Alrighty, let's take a look at this pedigree for Aztec Turquoise. Alright, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, that's where we got her. Aha, and there she is. Beautiful daughter, Big A291, original Aztec Loft, full sister to Royal Cup winner 2020. Winning $50,000. Daughter of Super Racer and Breeder, Big A291, who is the equal first Big Annie final, 350 miles, winning $10,000 US dollars. Wow. Hey, that's fantastic. Beautiful eye there. Really rich. Let's see, aha. Oops. Here's the full pedigree. Yep, so the dam. Goes back to, let's see, it's glaring. So let's get back here. here. There we go. Not so much glare now. All right. Dam side, got Aztec. Um, there's some Mexican lines, that's uh, 825. And then on the bottom side of the dam, we've got Hardy Kruger. Good stuff going on there. That is awesome. And um, Romero said that uh, this bird, I think a full brother, was first in the um, the Thai race, the papaya race, or patea. I don't remember what it is. It's not papaya. <laughs> That's a fruit, James. You dummy. Patea. <laughs> Whatever. The big. One loft race in Thailand. First place, I think, was a full sibling to that bird, or half sibling. Then on the t top side here, we've got Nanez Family Loft, and of course, they do really well in uh, one loft races. Um, so this is out of Constance and Foolish Pleasure. They are responsible for at least 600 top 10 positions in one loft racing. Awesome. Well, we are excited about this hen. Put her up with uh, Griffin as soon as she's ready. We're gonna give her a few more days of quarantine um, and also let the hen that Griffin's with lay eggs and those will be fostered out to somebody else. Awesome. Really excited about that. All right. Adios, everybody.
Take care. Until next time. Bye.